YouTube! Welcome back to Daily Finance. For those that don't know, my name is Ben, and happy Memorial Day. I hope those of you that are not working enjoy your guys' long weekend. And today, we are talking about how my hotspots are doing since the update earlier this month, and how we can expect higher earnings coming weeks, and also how one of my hotspots went completely dead. Reasons why that happened, and more are coming in today's video, so stay tuned. We are back, baby. Yes, sir, we are back. Happy Memorial Day again. Today is Monday, May the 30th, and we are back with another video. Thanks again for clicking on today's video. We are back here on the Helium Explorer with 832,000 hotspots deployed and rising each and every week. Current market price is $9.05, and that's a 24% increase on the day which is looking really, really good. Um, so after the update this past month on May 11th, we did an update video saying that, you know, earnings are way, way down. Um, and then the devs have been working diligently to kind of get the network back to a, a normal state. And I, I think they've done a pretty decent job. And so we'll show you how my hotspots are doing in today's video. And we'll show you, you know, a few of the things that I've, I've done, um, including, uh, you know, setting up a cavity filter and for a few of my hotspots and um, kind of how one of my hotspots has gone uh, completely dead. <laughs> and then um, we'll kind of tell you the products that I've been using and just kind of overall uh, update on the status. I want to just say that uh, McGill is having a, uh, a sale on their products, 15% discount. Um, and you just can use the, the code DISC15, D-I-S-C-15, and in order to get that 15% discount. So if you're looking for an antenna, tonight today is a great time to grab that antenna. You can use my link in the description below. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything extra. It just kind of gives back to the channel. And if you were going to already buy a, like a six uh, decibel antenna um, anyway, um, thank you for, for using my uh, my code. So here we go. Here's one of my... Um, one of my hotspots, Wobbly Sable Oyster. It's a rack wireless. I'm using the 7.5 dBi antenna from uh, McGill. And uh, over the last seven days, or even in the last 14 days, let's go to that. I've made 1.732 helium from uh, you know from this miner in the last 14 days, and it's pretty much above average every day. One thing that I've I've done on May 12th, I received the Acosum, um amplifier and cavity filter. Uh, it, I received it from China. And RF guy on YouTube uh, had re recommended it uh, a while back, and so I purchased that amplifier and that cavity filter, and so uh, I finally received it maybe like a month later. And I was going to do a review on the amplifier, but uh, the parts I can't get it to power up, so I'm still trying to figure out how to power up that that amp, and um, so I can do a review for you guys. But currently, I have a cavity filter on my rack wireless, um, and I have a cavity filter on one of my other, my Fenestra Miner. Um, and essentially what a cavity filter does is it filters that noise out of the signal. And so um, it, this can help you you know, a lot, especially when you're using an amp. Remember, when you use an amp, you're turning up the dial on your radio so you can hear more uh, or witness more beacons. But that, uh, just like your radio in your car, if you turn up the dial and there's a bunch of static, you're just turning up the static. You can't hear it more clear. And so um, that's essentially what the cavity filter does. It kind of um, filters out all of the, the static so you can hear um, the signal much better. And so on May 12th, I, I installed the cavity filters from Acosum. And I'll have a clip somewhere here where I unbox it and kind of show you the setup. Yep. The power cord and then some adapters you need a filter. So this is our cavity filter uh, from Acosum. So we'll get this guy hooked up. Okay, guys, as you can see, I'm back in my uh, my attic here. I was trying to set up the, um, the you know, the, the amplifier, but I was un unable to get the bias T to power up the amp. So uh, for right now, I've hooked up my McGill 7.5 dB antenna, link in the description. Um, the Acosum amplifier, I mean the Acosum, not the amplifier, but the cavity filter. And then you, what you have to do is make sure that you're following it, it, on it, it'll say two antenna and two radio. And then I have the cable going from there into the uh, rack hotspot. That these filters work is to show you the statistics. And so what I did was I went back and I went back, you know, the activity on my miner 
and I went back to before the installation of the cavity filter, right? And what we're looking at is the signal noise ratio. Remember, the closer this number is to a positive integer, the better the signal noise ratio, right? Signal to noise. So um, when you have negative values here, you have more noise than than the signal, right? And so um, on May 3rd, I witnessed uh, this beaconer clumsy quartz raccoon, and the signal noise ratio was minus 2.8 dB. Um, and then after installing the cavity filter, we see that the signal noise ratio improves to 5.2, a positive integer. So a way, way bigger improvement on the signal noise ratio. Now, um, the other thing is I'm using this cavity filter without an amplifier. The downfall to that is I get a, a dBi loss on my uh, signal strength. So because I'm using a 7.5 dBi antenna, right, um, installing the cavity filter gives me a decrease in that signal strength. So that's what's going on with that minor. And then, as promised, uh, one of my miners went away and just kind of flat out died on me. Let's see if I can pull it up for us. So yes, um, my sense cap that I was using with an eight, uh, with the amplifier, with the Shreen Helium amplifier, I haven't had, um, haven't had any rewards earned in the last 13 days. Uh, I reached out to um, sense caps. Uh, kind of a customer support or technical support and they had mentioned to me that my I had an SD card failure and that I uh, they sent me the instructions to change out that SD card um, so maybe I'll do a video on that once I figure that out um, I just you know this hotspot is over two hours away so I haven't had the time to uh, kind of get over there and and, and fix it but uh, in the coming weeks week or two I should have that uh, figured out and we'll get that guy back online and hopefully um, getting going I mean that was my most profitable miner that went down so it's kind of hurting me but uh, we'll uh, we'll figure it out and we'll uh, we'll go from there okay so overall I think the market has uh, or the the helium project has kind of gotten back to normalcy with uh, with mining right which is very exciting for for us that we're you know struggling for a while after the update as we said in the previous videos, we knew that there was going to be growing pains, especially with anything new. Um, today alone, the market price of helium has been soaring. So we'll kind of see how it goes. But remember, the whole goal is to just generate some passive income. And helium is pretty much one of the most passive things that you can do, right? It's essentially plug and go. You go to McGill, you get a, you know, a good antenna, you put it up in your attic, and you kind of almost forget about it. And, uh, you know, you just check it, check your earnings every day, you know, and, and make sure that your, your hotspots don't go out offline. But it's really the most passive thing that you can do. Remember, Helium is trying to revolutionize Wi-Fi, 5G, Internet of Things. They have really big plans. Those 5G carriers or your cell phone carriers have market caps of like Verizon of three, four hundred billion dollars. Helium's just getting started. And it'll be a, a really amazing to see where, where they take it. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about was quickly was HIP 51 that's up for voting for Helium. And it's actually an important Helium improvement proposal, sorry. And the HIP 51 is essentially voting on to see if our hotspots can not only mine Helium, but other, um, other cryptocurrencies using the Helium network. So that's actually really exciting. 51 passes. We will be able to mine not only H&T, but uh, a lot of other um, cryptocurrencies, which, you know, really makes it even more passive than, than it currently is. So uh, with that, we'll move into our segment on the top earner. So our top earner today is Pet Wintergreen Millipede. As you can see over here, uh, they are earning about 2.4 helium each day. They have a Curlink Miner 6 DBI antenna 50 meters in the air and they are over this last seven days they've earned 18 helium H&T tokens uh, which is just absolutely absurd I mean in the last 30 days they've made 60 H&T that's $593 out of at the current market value which is pretty pretty really impressive um, if you look at their their wallet their total uh, everything going on here they have one hotspot this is their only hotspot they have 62 uh, helium this goes to show it goes to show you you have an optimal setup right with a you have it very high in the air with a upgraded antenna probably a McGill 6 dbi antenna and you can make you know you have a great a location obviously with a transmit scale of one you connect to 150 uh, other hotspots you can you can make a lot of h and and pay off your miner as, as fast as you can so 
um, in order to optimize your setup, you should use my link in the description. Get yourself a, a 6 dBi uh, antenna from Miguel. Remember, they have their 15% uh, off this weekend. And try to get it in your attic or even higher if you can. And I'd like to see, uh, go ahead and throw your guys' hot spots in the, uh, in the comments so I can review those and maybe you can be featured on, your, on the next video um, if you have something impressive. Other than that, uh, this is all we have for you uh, this week. Um, I hope you guys are having fun mining helium out there. And if you guys have any questions or anything like that, or suggestions on future video uh, ideas, um, go ahead and throw them in the comments. Please like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate your guys' support. And uh, check the description for fun, cool links on uh, new projects and uh, antenna links and things like that for Helium. So um, as always, I appreciate you guys clicking on today's video. Enjoy your Memorial Day, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.